Here's free calc. It's problem 9-57. So it says to evaluate each of the following trig expressions exactly. So we've got this one, cosine 11 pi over 12. And I said, oh, so easy. I just go on here and I'll look up cosine 11 pi over 12. Well, I get on here and I can't find cos I can't find 11 pi over 12. So then I thought, hmm, it probably wants me to use one of those angle identities. Um, so I went to my notes of all the angle identities and I saw that I have um, these like where I can add two angles like there's probably two angles I could add up that add up to 11 pi over 12 um, and I you know I looked at this but then when I saw the half angle identity that's the one that kind of clicked with me that's the one I wanted to use on this one because um, I do have 11 pi over 6 on my unit circle. 11 pi over 6 is right there. Okay, 11 pi over 12, by the way, would be, um, let's see, 12 pi over 12 would be just halfway around the circle. So 11 pi over 12, just, you know, have this in the back of your mind, 11 pi over 12 is in quadrant 2. Um, 11 pi over 6 is twice as much as 11 pi over 12, so I want to use my half angle identity. So I don't know if that makes sense. Um, my half angle identity is, see, if I take 11 pi over 6 and divide it by 2, what is that? 11 pi over 6. Well, I can't really, I don't want to divide it by 2. I want to times it by a half, which is the same thing. Doesn't that give me 11 pi over 12? So that's why I know that I can, I can do, I can use this. Okay, so that's what I'm going to use. So I went ahead and did it. I wrote theta over 12, and that just came right straight from this formula, sorry, theta over 2. And then this is supposed to be 1 plus cosine theta over 2. Well, if I look on my unit circle, I can find cosine theta. It's right there. Okay, so then I did all that work. And at first I thought it was going to be positive, but um, because I was looking right here, but I don't want to pick the positive one because that is twice the angle that they've asked me to find an exact measure for. Remember I said the angle is over here. So cosine is actually negative over here because cosine is the x values, okay? So I'm going to choose the negative version of this, and then I clean this up. So what I do, I do it in my head. I just, I multiply everything by 2. So in other words, I'm multiplying by 2 over 2. Okay, so 2 times 1 is, well, here, let's do it over here. So I didn't show all my work at all. Oh, wait, yeah, I did. So 2 times 1 is 2. 2 times that they cancel the twos cancel out and this two times so i'm going like this in case you don't understand the math um and then this times this is four and then i split the root up into a numerator and a denominator so for the numerator i get just this up here and the square root of four is two so that is the answer to letter a and then for letter b did letter B already. There's letter B. So for letter B, I, I did the same kind of thing. I looked at it and I thought, well, which identity do I want to use? Um, I kind of right away noticed that it was over 12. And so I thought, well, hmm, is 7 pi over 6 on my unit circle? Well, let's see. Of course, 
course it is somewhere. There it is. There's 7 pi over 6, which tells me I can use that half angle identity. So cosecant, um, and you're thinking, well, why we don't have an identity for cosecant? But cosecant is the reciprocal of sine, and I have one for sine. Okay, so I'm just going to pretend it's sine, and I'm going to do all the work, and then at the end, if I remember, hopefully I will, I will flip my answer upside down, and that should work. So that's how I'm going to do this. So I'm just using the identity for sine. It's 1 minus cosine theta over 2, 1 minus cosine theta over 2. So just like the last problem, I had to check and see which quadrant it was in so I could figure out if I wanted the positive or the negative version of it. And how did I figure that out? I was looking for sine of 7 pi over 12. So it's sine of 7 pi over 12 isn't on my unit circle, but if I think about what is 6 pi over 12, well, 6 pi over 12 would be a half. So 7 pi over 12 would be just past you know, like 7 over 12. It's a little bit more than a half. So that would be over here in quadrant 2. And so it's a sine value. And sine is positive over here. So I'm going to choose the positive answer here. And then I just plug the numbers in. Like, um, what's cosine 7 pi over 6? Well, I just find it on here. Seven pi over 6 cosine, it was negative root 3 over 2. That says negative root 3 over 2 if you can't read it. And then a negative minus a negative is positive. I also didn't show my work, but I multiply the top and bottom by a giant 1 of 2. So that times 2 is 2. That times 2 made the denominator go away. And that times 2 turned into a 4. And then I thought I was done because I had forgotten that I need the reciprocal. And I looked it up in the answer book, and it was wrong. And then I realized I made that mistake. So I just flipped it upside down. And so this, um, I thought about rationalizing my denominator. But if I rationalize it, it's still pretty bad and I could actually I could keep going with the I could multiply by the conjugate of this bottom part on the top and the bottom but even your answer book doesn't go that far so I think this is okay um, in this kind of scenario it's okay to just leave it like this